Hello, my name is Zombie878, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this YouTube video, we are going to be um, making a stat system where you can separate your points based on what stat you want. And yeah, here's a stat system right here just to show you what it's going to look like. So we click on this we'll get one stat point for some reason it's not updating but uh, we'll, we'll deal with that don't worry and then after you get the stat point you can put it into whatever and as you can see the stat goes up and you should lose a stat point and you see it's not going up anymore so I will see you in a second once I clean this up and we're going to make this from scratch okay so first off, I'm in Rooms 2.0. The reason I'm in Rooms 2.0 is because in Rooms 1.0 you have roles, but I think it will be harder to try to change something in a role based off your stats. It's just easier in Room 2.0 because you got the new player properties where you can just easily set something with a chip. So we're going to be in Rooms 2.0. If you're in Rooms 1.0, uh, I'll make the stat system and you can deal with that and I'll make it invention. But that's why I'm in Rooms 2.0. So let's get started. First, I am going to get a text gadget and we're just going to set up the interface. So I'm going to set up three text um, gadgets right here. One will be one stat, this will be another stat, and this will be a third stat. You can have as many stats as you want, but this is what I have. I'm going to keep the circuits like that. Next, we are going to copy one of these over. This will be how many stat points you have. We'll put this way over here. And now that we're done getting our gadgets, next we're going to uh, actually set up the um, variables. So let's get some int variables. You um, could use a float variable. Using float variables are probably better because the player property chips use float variables but uh, the reason I'm using an int variable is um, I can easily just make it one two three four besides worrying about decimals so I'm gonna get an int variable you can choose a float variable if you want to use decimals I'll uh, tell you how to do that uh, once I do the int variables so we're gonna have three int variables and I'm going to place them right next to each of these. Not under them, next to them. And of course, you're going to want to name each one something different. Because I'm not trying to waste no time, I am just going to um, abbreviate this for speed. And we're also going to make it a cloud variable so it saves whenever you leave or exit the room and come back you have the same stat for that we'll go ahead and name this one uh health uh i have no problem just writing out health this will be for like your health obviously and the last one we can make a jump height so I'm just going to name this one Jump Height. Let's not capitalize that. Jump Height. And we're going to make this a cloud variable too. We're not going to make any of them synced. Because if you make it synced, then... Uh, oh. We're not going to make any of the text gadgets synced. Um... I rather have them unsync so people can see their own stats and not worry about other people's stats, but that's up to you. So now that we have our stats right here, 
we got speed, health, jump height. I'm actually going to rename this to speed so all you can understand that speed. Um, there we go. Now that we have this, we are going to move these over just a little bit. And next, we are going to get a two string chip. And the reason I'm getting a two string chip is so I can actually connect it to the um, text gadget. Because without the string chip, you cannot connect it to the gadget because this is a green output and this is a purple input. So uh, yeah, use a two string to change it. Don't worry if this says one, it's going to also say one over here. You can just connect it to this and it will actually show you the text itself. Vice versa, you you don't have to use this. You can actually use a parse to change it back, but we don't need to worry about that. Just a little fun fact. So now that we have this, now if I go ahead and, well, first, let me go ahead and connect all the set text to each other so I don't need to worry about, you know, setting all of them. So, oh, I forgot about this one over here, of course. So we're going to copy the two string and int variable. And I'm going to go ahead and rename the help over here to stat points. So this will be where your stat points are stored. <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay, so here is your stat points. And now if I go ahead and click this, all of them will show zero. You probably want it looking a bit more like a stat board. Like, you know, speed, five, health, 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a string format chip. And what the string format chip does is, as you can see, you can put in a value here in the format. So what this does is the format is the way the sentence is laid out. So if I say speed with a semicolon, I'm going to press enter. And if you want to um, put in the value down there, it's going to be a variable. So you need to press shift, this squiggly arrow, the zero, and the close squiggly parentheses thing. And now you see it says speed zero there. That's what it looked like there, but the zero is actually a variable. So it's not going to show up over here until you put something in the value. So we're going to put this here. Now it's going to say speed zero. So we're going to connect this instead of the actual string. So now if I do this, it's going to say speed semicolon zero because I plugged in the variable to the sentence I just added. So we're going to do this to the rest of them for whatever stats you have or maybe, you know, what, yeah, whatever stats you have. So I'm going to rename this one to health. Of course, I can always just go off what I already have here, but I'd rather just have it like this. It makes it look a lot nicer on the board. Okay, and then... Lastly, we got jump height. And jump height. With the variable. And of course, we can't forget our last one. This one is going to be the stop points. This is just going to stay the same. I don't really have any inkling to change this up to look differently. So 
So I'm just going to say stop point, points, stop points. Well, actually, you know, it'd be better to put this in parentheses. So stop point or stop points. And then I'll put the value here. And now if I do this, there's your stop point and there's the rest. The reason I put the S there is, you know, in case you got multiple points. That wouldn't work with this because that would be like health, jump heights, speeds. It doesn't make sense. So now we have a simple HUD right here. We got our points and we got our stops. So what are we going to do next? First, what we're going to do is we are going to have it to where when you start the room it's going to be like hey you're a new player who just started the room so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say that all your stops are one because if the stops are zero then you wouldn't be able to move like i tested this out a little bit before if your speed is zero you straight up won't be able to move. So, I'm going to put a vent receiver right there. And I'm going to have... Uh, where is it? Room load it. Whenever the... Mm, no, I'm going to have a player join. The reason I'm going to have a player joined is because each player is different. Player joined. There we go. So whenever a player joins, it's going to give everything one point. And so it doesn't do this every time you join. I'm actually going to get a int variable here. And I'm going to name this... Uh, what can I name this? Let's say FT joined. FT is going to be like first time joined. So I can tell that you joined the room for the first time. And I'm going to keep the cloud variable. So when you join the room for the first time, this will activate. I'm going to get an add chip. So it adds one. And after it adds one, what we're going to have it do is we're going to have it go through a, uh, where is it? We're going to have a equals, equals chip. No, no, I'm going to have a less than or equals to chip. So less than the thing messed up again. So less than or equal to. And I'm going to place this here. And if this is less than or equal to zero, this will be true. But if it's more than zero, then it's not going to be true. And this is how I'm going to check if you join the game for the first time. I'm going to get an if chip. Place it right here. So basically what this does is when you join the room, it will add one here. If it's less than or equal to zero, which it should never be less than zero, it should only be equal to zero. Once you join, this will become a one and... Hmm. Wait a second. <clears throat> uh, sorry. I'm gonna make it um be uh, less equal to. I I'm thinking of just using the equal to chip. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna use the equal to chip. Just simplify things even more. Sorry, there's a lot of noise outside. 
Um, so I'm gonna connect this here. Once you join, this is going to equal one. And when this equals one, this is obviously gonna be true. So, um, yeah, once it equals one, it's going to go over here and it's going to add one to each of these stats. So again, get a add chip or you can just copy it over. Okay. We're just going to connect it like this. Make sure it's adding one. And we're going to connect it like this. So whenever you join the room for the first time, this will add the one. It equals the one. So this is true only for the first time you enter the room. And then it's going to add a one to each of these stats, which we're going to actually deal with that right now. So like I said, I'm in rooms 2.0 because there's player properties. So I'm going to type in player set, which is not going to appear in rooms 1.0 when you can set certain things. So for the speed um, factor, I'm going to set the speed for every single going to set the speed for every single one so player set crouch speed player prone speed i think there's some other ones here we got sprint speed we got slide speed and we have walk speed and i think that's all the speeds so now that we did that we can connect this to this but as you notice like I said they're float variables so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a int to float of course if any of you wanted to use floats to begin with you could I just find it using int variables be easier it's just a personal preference so we're going to get the speed value and I'm going to connect it to each one of these. So basically, since this is zero, all these are going to be zero. And of course, like I said, since it sets this at the beginning of the game, we're also going to have to set this too. So go ahead and connect that. We're also going to connect the else here because we also want the else to set this and even if this isn't your first time. It's going to keep everything the same. And that way we have our speed components now. Now let's get our health. So, like I said, go ahead and type in player set, and you should be able to set someone's health. Player set. Um, let's see. Player set. Let's get jump height, so I don't need to get that out later. Um. Oh, I know how to set your health. I need the combatant chip. Combatant. Hmm? Where's the combatant chip? I got the combatant chip. 
Maybe not. Did they get rid of the combatant chips in room 2.0? I actually don't know. There was definitely a health chip. Can you hit the X? Can you hit the X button, please? Thank you. Type in hill. Uh. Oh, I thought I saw a health chip. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess we'll deal with help some other way. Because, like I said, this room's already in beta and the combatant chips aren't here, so I guess they got rid of the combatant chips. Which is completely fine. We'll deal with the help some other way. Actually, I got a health system in another video. If you just want to look at that video and put it there, I'll, I'll make sure to put it. Like right here in the corner screen. I I don't know where this is, so I'll just place it somewhere on the screen. So right now we'll just deal with the jump height and speed for now. Same thing with the jump height. We're gonna get the int to float. Place it down here. And whatever your jump height is, that is gonna be your jump height. And we're going to connect this down here. Now, if I go ahead, leave the room and join, all these will be one, and I will have that amount of speed. So now, let's get over to the stat point um, feature, because I know all of you are so curious about the stat points. So, let's go into... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to connect the health to this over here. And I am going to connect that to right here. Is this connected to? Yeah, I don't want to connect it to that. There we go. That should be a lot better. Actually, no, I'll keep that one there. Yeah. Okay, so now that I did that, let's get to the stat points. I would go ahead and use the new inventory items and offers and rewards and stuff. But uh, there's an easier way to do this. And it's just to use a button. So I'm going to just to use a normal button and just place it right there now obviously if you want to give someone a stat for completing a mission you're probably going to just connect this to the stat point right there so just keep that in mind so plus one stat Okay, so now if I go ahead and press this button, it will add a stop point right there. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this add chip over, make my job easier. Uh, and there you go, now you get a stop point. And whenever you click on this, it's going to uh, update the stop point update the stop point. So if I click on this, it's going to say, oh, you got one stop point, you got two stop point. Now I'll make it so you can uh, go ahead and use your button to go ahead and add a stop point to whatever stop you want. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this to speed. I'm going to rename this to help. If you want me to do a part two to this video just to include the health system in case you don't want to see the video or maybe you just want to see me continue this system. Uh, just go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll, I'll get around to doing it. And here's jump height.
so what I'm going to connect these buttons to is I'm going to connect them to greater than chips. So go ahead and get a greater than chip. Not greater than or equal to, just a greater than chip. And I'm going to have a few if chips or next to the greater than chips. And what this is going to do is this is going to check to see if your stop points is greater than zero. If it's equal to zero, it's not going to work. It has to be greater than zero. So if you have zero stop points, it's not going to work. Okay, so if it's greater than zero, it's going to check right here for each stat. Speed, health, and jump height. And next, it's going to go ahead and subtract a stat point from the, um, subtract a stat point so you don't um, get too many stop points. I mean, so the stop points are infinite. Because if it did not subtract, you could just keep adding a stop. So we're going to subtract it back down to zero once you're done using your stop points. So I'm going to get subtract chip. Going to connect it to here and have it subtract the one. And I'm going to copy this three times for each stat. It can't get it can't go lower than zero, by the way. Because of the greater than chip. If it was greater than um I mean if it's equal to zero, it won't subtract nothing. And now if I click on these buttons, it will subtract a stop point and it will allow me to gain a point of speed, health, or jump height. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the stats over here. And I'm going to get the add chips and put them over here. Now if I go ahead and do this, now it should add stop point to each one. One, one, and one. And there you go. There is a stop point system. As you see, my stop points are zero because it, uh, so I can't really move. That's why I said whenever someone joins for the first time, you're going to have it to where it goes to one at least, so they can at least move around. You can mess with the numbers as much as you want. For right now, it says nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the room real quick. And then I will be back in the room. And I will show you my transition to dorm room to the room so you know that I'm not pulling your leg and that it actually works. Okay, so now I'm going to visit the room again and voila, it should have the stat board come up. Hmm, damn, the stat board come up. I think there's something been going wrong with text lately. Let's see, did this add a 1? Yeah, it did add a 1. It's equal to 1, so it's true. Um, so if it's true, it added a point, right? And right after it added a point, it goes up here. Uh, I see. I, I need to connect it right there. That's my fault. Just go ahead and reconnect that to right there. And there. This is what it should look like. I didn't this come up. Oh, that only comes up when it's something else. I need to also connect this right here. 
and it should work. Yeah, I just need to connect this right here and I'll disconnect this. And now everything should come up the way it should. And now you see I'm moving at one speed right now. So I'll go ahead and save the room. And lately, um, people have been asking me to show all the circuits and everything. So after I'm done showing you that it works, I will go ahead and, uh, you know, do that. So now if I go ahead and click on this again. Oh, I see. That's why I have this connected over here. Okay. So now everything should work completely fine. Now if I click on a stop point, I'll get stop points. And if I want my speed to increase, I'll click on the speed. Um, why isn't it not greater than zero? It's false. Why is it false? Is it zero? Doesn't it add a stop point? Why was it zero? Oh, that must have been a glitch of, because of what I had last. Okay, now it should work. It was a visual glitch. So now if I click on speed, it should work. Right? I mean, it's clearly doing that, so. Oh, you see, it's because I didn't connect this. Make sure everything's connected. Make sure you go over all your circuits and stuff. And of course, when it uh, does this, I should probably redo this so it goes back to zero. That's why it's not doing that. And now it is 100% complete. 100% not stuffed in the least bit at the end. I tried to first try this and I'm still going to upload even though I made a few mistakes. So now if I go ahead and start it from the beginning when someone joins the game, all the stats should come up. Okay, great. I'll get like maybe a few stat points. You see if you click the button too fast, it's going to be like that. Now if I click speed, you see that my speed goes up. Um, why did that not work? Is it because I clicked the button too fast? This is five. I don't understand. Did I click the button too fast? I probably clicked the button too fast. Let me slow down a bit when it comes to clicking the button. Okay, so I'm going to click it really slow. In case you don't want to use a button, you can always go ahead and go into Maker Pen and use the toggle, which is probably a lot better to use. Just type in toggle. There we go. Because this button is a toggleable button. Okay, so now that we got that, now if I click on speed again, you'll see that it goes up. It goes up again. And this goes down too. And this doesn't go up as long as I got a stop point and my speed is increasing as you can see from how fast I'm moving. And yeah. There is your stop system. I will slowly go over it. I'll scan through it. Here it is. Your stop points. Little screenshot of the middle. And this is what the end looks like. Okay, so if you like the video, like comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.